Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're doing great. So in this video, let us understand and let us learn about how to become an effective speaker. See, if you want to become an effective speaker, the principle, the technique which I'm going to share you right now is that Tao principle. What is that? Tao technique. So let us understand each and every letter which is associated with this Tao principle. See, the first letter in the Tao principle is T. T stands for text. So if you want to become an effective speaker, you have to read a lot of text information. I am not recommending you to read newspaper. I know it's boring. Many people feel that reading a newspaper means they feel a lot of boring. But instead, what you can do is that you can start reading the topics which you love to read about. For example, so in my case, I love reading psychology and I love reading human behavior because that is my favorite topic. Similarly, you need to find out and you need to understand about which is your favorite topic. Some people are love to read about meditation for some sports may be a favorite topic for some politics may be a favorite topic for some science and technology may be a favorite topic so you need to find out you need to analyze which is your favorite topic so start from reading those favorite topics once you understand the so once you build a habit of reading then you can able to shift to many other topics so the first letter in the top principle is t so you have to acquire more and more text information the second letter of the top principle is a a stands for audio see if you want to become an effective speaker you have to understand about the different audio notes because in audio what happens you can able to listen your best of the best speaker conversation what do you mean by that see whenever you are delivering a conversation or whenever you are delivering a speech you must understand that where to take pauses where not to take pauses where to increase your pitch where to lower down your pitch each and everything matters a lot my dear friend that is the reason you have to listen best of the best speaker conversation the best method is that you can start listening the podcast there are so many podcasts available on the youtube as well as you know some of the google podcasts spotify podcasts is there you can go there and pick up some of the best speakers podcast you'll understand you know the tonation especially the voice modulation and more importantly the pauses exactly this pauses plays a very very important role because of this pauses a person can able to become an effective storyteller and the person can able to become an effective speaker and the third letter in the thought principle is v so v stands for video once you are done with the text as well as the audio notes the third thing comes in video video is very very important what happens in video you can able to showcase your body language body language plays a very very important role my dear friend see if you want to evaluate a speech if you want to analyze a speech more than 55 percentage weightage goes to body language your non verbal communication that is body language plays a very very important role my dear friend and after the body language your voice modulation comes after the voice modulation your content comes so to keep it up very very simple manner with the statistics your content is just a 7% come on yes you heard it right your content is just a 7% and 38% constitutes your or your vocal variety your voice modulation remaining 55% constitutes your body language that is the reason you have to work upon your body language you should know that when to use your body language when not to use your body language especially if you are giving a speech on the stage you should know that how your body language should be as in many speakers they are they are walking from left to right and right to left on the stage without having a necessary purpose you should know that when to walk and when not to walk and how many times you need to walk so everything matters a lot that is the reason body language will tell you the overall personality of a person is exactly body language will tell us about the persona of a person so that is the reason you should utilize you should utilize the body language in an effective manner so these are the three techniques which plays a very very important role in order to become an effective speaker so summing up the entire thing the first letter t stands for text information the second letter a stands for audio and the third letter v stands for video so start with this text information you can start reading the newspaper if not newspaper you can start reading the novels you can start reading the you know wonderful articles in your mobile phone the second thing is that start listening more and more audio notes especially the podcast one third thing is that start making the videos because videos are the wonderful way to connecting people videos are the wonderful way of conversation nowadays you can see that video resumes are coming up so entire world is changing so you need to move from transition from text to audio audio to video then only can able to become an effective speaker so i hope you like this video let me know your feedback in the comment section and most importantly subscribe to my channel so that i'll come up with wonderful amazing content especially for you so with this i'm concluding you know this is manish kumar signing off until we meet again thank you so much